Hey guys, this is going to be a mid month to take you guys on into the new year. Let's see what's going on. This is a love and guidance reading, guys. Whatever comes up, comes up. All right. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Of course, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. So be mindful of that. All right. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. What's going on with my Saggies? On into the new year. Here we go, guys. Ooh, Five of Swords. Ooh, your challenge is the Devil. Your foundation is the Six of Cups. The recent past is the Knight of Wands. Your present. Move these down. Is the Hierophant. Your near future is the Eight of Swords. Hmm. How you see yourself is the Eight of Wands. In the environment, we have the Three of Swords. Your hopes and fears is the Four of Cups. And your potential outcome is a Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. So we'll start. It depends on where I my eyes go to where I start. So I'm going to start in the recent past with the Knight of Wands. Um, being unsure of whether you want to stay or go whether you want to continue to invest or just leave it alone. Deciding what's best for you because there is, there is a level of I'm not sure what to do with this card. I don't want to let something go because I'm used to being there for this person. Um, and this could be somebody else as well deciding this about you. Okay, so the energy can, it can be people around you that's, that's also, you know, involved in your spread here. But this is just really like a level of um, indecisiveness, I feel like, here with the Knight of Wands. Okay, now the reason why you're here is because of this soulmate relationship. This is somebody that you really... Feel attached to that um, that you feel like or felt like at some point you belonged with or they feel this way about you okay or both of you feel like you guys belong together you've probably known this person forever have probably even been in a relationship with this person for a long time and things have just kind of gotten out of, out of hand I feel like like you you feel like you're losing control or have lost control or vice versa okay now you're at a point during this period where you're feeling um, like there's nothing else I can do what else can I do I've done everything that I could possibly do. Um, but I feel like you're taking punches. And I almost feel like, you know, you're taking punches below the belt. This is arguing, but this is this is somebody not fighting fear. No, no fight is good. But it's especially hurtful when you feel like somebody's not fighting fear. Like they're doing things that... Um, that are just not good vindictive this is this is like um vindictive energy okay wanting to get back at somebody for whatever reason and your challenge is to let go of your fears to let go of feeling so attached to this person feeling like maybe that you know you are the one that needs to help them. That's your challenge. Because people have to want to help themselves, okay? 
to let go of that devil energy, to, you know, break that attachment. Because if you don't, it's going to um, bring you down. This is you not wanting to budge. You don't want to let go. Because you know or you feel that you and this person belong together. That's what this is. This is why you're here. This is your present situation. You're not budging. You're not giving up. You're not letting go. You're standing your ground. You're standing your position. You're having faith that all of this will work out the way that it's supposed to. And it will work out the way that it's supposed to. Most definitely. But the thing is, you have no control over that. Okay? You can only play your part, but you can't play the part until, you know, you are exhausted beyond belief. Okay? And in the near future, that's where I see you going. Exhausted beyond belief. Almost pulling your hair out. Feeling like your hands are tied. Thinking about things over and over and over again. What can you do different? This is, this is being trapped. This is feeling trapped. This is feeling trapped. Okay? It's not a good state to be in. How you see yourself is that you're going to leave. If things don't get better, you see yourself as leaving. But you also feel like if you could just talk to this person more, if you could have more of an influence over them, that things will also get better because you love this person. Okay. In your environment, we have the three of heart, three of swords. I don't know why I wanted to say the three of hearts. Um, hmm. This is hurt feelings. This is heartache. This is feeling like you know you guys are not going to be together or stay together here. And that just it is almost like driving a screwdriver into your heart and steady turning it. Um, this is this is heartache. This is either how somebody sees you, like they've done this to you that you're hurting, they're hurting, they're hurting you, or this is somebody feeling heartbroken that that you guys are in this situation right now, basically. Now, in your hopes and fears, we have the Four of Cups. You don't want this relationship to be become just a memory. You don't want to be by yourself. You don't want to have to look for something else because here you found the person that you want to be with here with the four of cups and the six of cups as the ten of cups. You found the love of your life here. You're not thinking about anybody else. And you don't want to. That's like, you know, that's the furthest thing from your mind, I feel like. But in your potential outcome. We have the Six of Pentacles here. And this this card, what I see in this card right now is that you're almost treating this person like they're your your child, like you feel like you have to protect them at all costs. But in a, in a true relationship, there is equal give and take. Now, granted that you don't want to leave your partner when they get down and out. Who does that? 
that's not a real partnership. But there comes a point where they have to try to help themselves as well. Okay. But I see you not going anywhere. I see you steady giving. I see you steady giving to this situation for sure. You're not going to give up. You will take all of the slack if you need to. And that's what I feel for you, Sagittarius. Okay? And this is going into the new year. Um, again, if I haven't told you already, Merry Christmas to those of you who um, celebrate Christmas. And Happy New Year. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.